Melena Scantlin here. Welcome to Variety's This Week in Comedy, where we bring you the biggest news in comedy covering movies, TV, and the web. I don't want another one. I want the one that Carmine gave me. Oh, Carmine. I want the one that Carmine gave me. Carmine, Carmine. It's nothing but good news for David O. Russell's new crime flick, American Hustle. After landing seven Golden Globe nominations this year, including one for Best Musical or Comedy. The star-studded film raked in nearly $700,000 last weekend, and it opened in just six theaters. It's not bull****. I read it in an article. That's the biggest debut for a limited release this year, topping opening numbers for fellow Globe nominees like Woody Allen's Blue Jasmine and the Coen Brothers Inside Lewin Davis. Everybody, green, green, rock and roll. Speaking of the Globes, check out the other comedies getting some award season love. Spike Jonze's Her, Alexander Payne's Nebraska, and Martin Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street all landed in the best motion picture, musical, or comedy category. It's okay. Rub my temple. You're all right. The film also landed its star Leonardo DiCaprio a best actor nod. Wow. <laughs> On the TV side of things, we saw some returning nominees like The Big Bang Theory, Girls, and Modern Family in the mix for best comedy series. Prepare to fill the agony of done feet. Shocker. It will face some competition from one of our favorites, Parks and Recreation. It's first time in that category, if you can believe it. And another surprise contender, Andy Samberg's brand new series, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. <laughs> The 71st annual Golden Globes will air January 12th on NBC. Let's pound it out. Well, guys, it happened just as we expected. The Griffin family's recently deceased pet and fan favorite, Brian, was resurrected on the December 15th episode of Family Guy. Brian, look out! What the hell? You're alive, my friend! Of course, we weren't entirely sure about his return, seeing as the show's producers remained hush amid fans' outrage over Brian's tragic end. But after last Sunday's episode, show creator Seth MacFarlane seemed to take pleasure in faking us all out with the death hoax, tweeting, I mean, you didn't really think we'd kill off Brian, did you? Jesus, we'd have to be f***ing high. Family Guy returns with all new episodes on January 5th on Fox. <laughs> Lighten up, Toots, it's a party. <laughs> Saturday Night Live caught a lot of heat for its lack of diversity in its new group of cast members this season. The backlash was so strong that the show was forced to address it in its usual way last month by mocking it in an opening sketch featuring guest host Kerry Washington. Well, in that case, I will leave and in a few minutes, Oprah will be here. Thank you, Mrs. Obama. But now the show is facing the diversity issue in a real way with creator Lauren Michaels telling the New York Times that they'll be adding at least one black female to the cast by January. It will be the first time the show has had a black woman on the cast since Maya Rudolph left in 2007. Michaels told the Times, we've auditioned about 25 people, we're all about talent, but you want to be sure you give people the best possible shot. Great news, Beyonce has just arrived for dinner too. <laughs> What's funny about that? I don't know. Jerry Seinfeld's life after Seinfeld has been pretty awesome, and luckily we've had a chance to witness a small piece of it with his web series Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. The premise? Well, pretty much Jerry and another famous comedian friend having random conversations in a car and over coffee. The result? Well, think Seinfeld unscripted. When was the last time you were this scared? Doing award shows and potentially ending my career. I work for the Golden Globe Committee and this entire thing is a ruse to get you to do the show again next year. <laughs> what started out as a quote, small fun show for Jerry is now an Emmy nominated series that's about to launch its third season. The six new episodes will begin airing exclusively on Crackle.com and ComediansGettingCoffee.com next year. A new trailer teased appearances by more comedy stars. See if you can identify some of them. By the way, I don't drink coffee. I've never had a cup of coffee. Oh, so don't make it seem like I'm so out of touch. But you should be in touch. Why? Find out who's sliding into the passenger seat when season three premieres on January 2nd. <laughs> Thanks for watching Varieties This Week in Comedy on Official Comedy. Be sure to click subscribe for all the must-see comedy moments from the world of TV, movies, and the web.